Oh, shit. Uh, hi everybody, welcome back to World of Final Fantasy. Um, we're at the desert level and I fucked up completely. Uh, so I figured out how to do everything for the most part. The only pattern you need to know is left, right, left. Uh, but at the same time, I really fucked up horrendously. You see, it turns out... I captured some mirages, uh, basically because I wanted to complete my index when it comes to the mirages, you know, just kind of like the dictionary thing. I showed that off, but that's besides the point. The point is not really the fact that I wanted to show it off. I also caught like a Sphinx, which was like a super battle, and it uses Doom and stuff like that. Uh, kind of kind of along the lines, but then there was like some sort of weird glitch when it comes to the when it came to my capture cards, so, uh, half, half of everything just kind of cut out, and I wasn't really able to show anything off, and it was a pain in the butt, and, man, I, I apologize. So, what I'm trying to say is, I'm gonna show you how to do everything, but at the same time, I'm not gonna really show off anything, because it's basically, in the sense, um, this, this is World of Final Fantasy, the Phantom Desert, uh, it's, it's, it's really bullshit and stupid and long and more drawn out than it needs to be, but at the same time, uh, I apologize, there's really nothing else I can do about it. So this is kind of the bullshit level part. Uh, I got a bunch of things, there's nothing really else I can say about it. Uh, so you might be wondering so we got like some dragoon things so you think the federation is going to be here there's nothing going to be really a revealed about it other than uh yeah there there's some bahamushin soldiers just chilling here uh there's there's nothing really plot wise that's gonna develop other than they're here they're just kind of shooting their things showing off some of uh, bombs which i captured you know i named i named mine sjw but otherwise, I mean, go left, right, left. Now you might be wondering, hey, uh, what happens when I get to, like, the second the second screen? And it's like, well, you can actually go to the, a hidden area. And that's kind of cool. But you have to fight a Sphinx. And that's not so cool, you know, because, I mean, Sphinxes are kind of lame. Let's be honest. No Sphinx kind of kills you it has doom abilities kind of lame don't really like fighting them but at the same time I, I oh man i met an objective that's kind of sweet it's kind of legit i can't really deny that there's a lot of encounters at the fam deserts you'll fight chocobos you'll fight sand decors you'll fight cockadrills you'll fight nut eaters you you have a rare chance of encountering cactuars and an even rarer chance of finding sandworms, which I haven't even shown off. I mean, sandworms are pretty legit, I'm not gonna lie. If you run into a sandworm, it's a pretty dope mirage. If you want to capture it, I highly recommend it. I haven't run into any of them. I mean, that's like a grinding session. We're talking like, I, I want to say like 0.1%, maybe even less. Uh, I can't even portray what the what the encounter rate is. Anyways, so something else to note with if you're like exploring this area and you're like, hey, uh, capture card, please do the thing. Other than running into random encounters, I mean, hey, look at that, it's a manticore or whatever it is. The thing, it, sandy memacore. It it does the memes. It also has an immunity to physical attacks. Yeah, I was in that Merkin back in the Lava Valley 7 place. No one gives a shit about that place, Gildan, but there was lava and fire, and I was like, no! At the same time, there's sand here, and it's very earthy, but at the same time, it's hot, and I don't give a fuck about the desert, because, let's be honest, desert, not good. Oh, by the way, you want that little cat thing? Uh, it has the same requirements as the blood eye slash floaty eyes, which is what peepers is, you know, it's 
All you gotta do is leave it the last one standing and then you get all access to try to capture it. Now, if I was a smart man, I'm not. Because clearly I got into a random battle with a bunch of these bastards. I can't do anything with this other than attack him. Now, you might be wondering, what the heck is this cat-like thing? Now, if I could do it, Santa Cor. A Santa Cor is like a sphinx-like cat thing with the scorpion tail. And yeah, you just leave it as the last one standing and then you can capture it. It's a pretty dope thing. It has that one meme core, which is pretty dope. I highly recommend capturing it because it has the uh, nullified damage ability. I mean, it's not consistent, but at the same time, Good the job. fact that you can nullify damage and just take nothing aside from magical attacks, that, that is well worth the effort, if you ask me. Gildum, the Let's Player. Other than that, I mean, we got the secret area. Now, this was normally where you'd fight a Sphinx, and it was an epic boss fight. And also because rare spawns actually do, uh, do actually respawn. So something I haven't explained. If you do run into a rare spawn, and you do have to exit out of the area, you can actually redo the battle. So we got a Sphinx. It's like the alternate encounter of the Mimicor or whatever you call it. I'm gonna call him Mimicor. But basically, you just deal a lot of damage, and then you have the opportunity of capturing it. I happen to be so lucky to do that. <laughs> but I guess that's all irrelevant because, you know, I'm not going to get that opportunity here and now because I already caught one. Uh, granted, outside this, you're not really going to get the opportunity to capture a Mimicor or a Sphinx or a Manticore or whatever that else you got going on for you. Uh, Grant, so I just took the liberty of doing that. If I happen to do such a a thing. I mean, I guess I'm gonna rename one of my mirages and, I'm, and put it into my party. You guys know what I'm talking right. about. You guys have an idea what I'm getting at. The point is, Sphinx, you got it going on here. It guards the chest. There was a whole cutscene. I'm sorry I couldn't show that off because Gilton's such a doof and also the recording kind of just did the thing and it, it was so stupid. Uh, I got a different cutscene and that was kind of cool teleports us out but basically there was a chest and it's like you got the sphinx memo so it if you got a manticore and you got all the makings to get one so you can you can access the sphinx form and that's pretty dope oh so they they have the doom ability let's be honest if you got the doom ability i mean it's 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 a pretty good ability instant death is always fun uh, KO moves are always fun. These things evolve into the Sphinx, or at the very least, they have the Mimicore and the Sandicore, and their Sandicore is they have the Mimicore, and they can have the side evolution of the Sphinx. They also have, like, another side evolution of what they are right now that evolves into the Sphinx. Uh, I don't give a shit about them. Maybe they're Kate Sith. I don't know. Point is... Uh, we gotta level up for Squiggles, and Squiggles needs to evolve. It needs to side evolve at the very least. So I'm, I'm gonna just show this off. I need to do that. I need to do a lot right, of things. Cactars, don't give a shit about them. I can go back, turn in that thing, which I Great probably technical. will. You know it's gonna happen. You know it's coming up. But at the same time, you know, Cactuars, they give pretty high yield experience, so it's well worth fighting them. Well worth doing the things. Future Ruler is definitely salvation for actually being able to s get out of this. Oh, sky's gone all orangey. It's getting late. We're taking too long. That is fascinating. I do not care nearly enough.
Uh, anyways, so right, left, right. We better get the clear of here before the sun goes down. You might be noticing a lot of roaring sounds, sandworms, everybody. That's that is what the roar that is what the roars are and the blah 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 blah. So yeah, if you hear a lot of things saying the things, it's it's just basically sandworms, everybody. I haven't encountered any. Not even like with them recording in the felt part where it's like I'm trying to show off stuff and I wasn't able to. It's it's sandworms, everybody. Sandworms. And I know what you're saying. You're like better get the clear of here before the sun goes down. That is all irrelevant. They make it seem like there's something at stake, but it turns out there's nothing at stake. Let's make this quick. Also, I, cock I, I did catch a cockadrill. Uh, I know a lot of you are probably questioning, Gildam, why did you catch a cockadrill? Well, it's because I'm trying to complete my index when it comes to like the, all the mirages. Because, I mean, I showed, off the mir I showed that off in the twins' room. I mean, I feel like I need to bring that up, but at the same time, I mean, there's really not a whole lot to it other than... Yeah, that, that's the thing that we got. That's the thing that's accessible. No that's the thing that you got going on for you. But it's like, it's all irrelevant, man. Also, I got a lucky toad. That's pretty cool, but no one really cares about the lucky toad, you know? Um, Effin Prince is what it is. I'm probably going to get rid of him very soon, because as much as I love Effin Prince, uh, there's really no are. reason for me to keep him at in here unless like all you viewers have been like saying yeah effing prince i mean really you the viewers like you're gonna dictate if you want me to keep anything in my party i will keep something to the end of time if you guys are like yo keep this in your party but i'm so underknown i mean i'm, I'm pretty hidden in the shadows so far gone that, that none of y'all are like gonna say anything about this by the time any of you make a comment about it I mean, I'm, I'm probably already done with like World of Final Fantasy. I don't know I, I keep up with social media and that shit. So it's like hey, it is what it is Also that thing right down there. I don't remember what it was. I think it was a Phoenix opinion But at the same time, uh, I got it. I know what it is. I know what we got going on also, the Spaha Mushin soldier can go fuck himself. <laughs> yeah, gillum has got the swag. Swiggity swooty, go fuck yourself. In the meanwhile, my mirages are yeah. pretty OP. Oh, yeah. Other than death, I have nothing to worry about. Yeah, everything's leveling up. Oh man, Spire Mikey is getting to the point where it... A couple more levels, he's gonna be super OP. He's gonna be in a form that now y'all will be able to comprehend. But at the same time, I like to I like to believe. All this said, I mean we got a Bahamushian soldier, go fuck yourself. Uh the Bahamushian Federation. They're all tricksters and stupid and like a bunch of guys there like look at my look at my mirages They're gonna fuck you up, but the truth be told our mirages are much better inept at handling everything And you know what? I managed to get everything. I managed to handle everything. I managed to do everything uh, I managed to get through the desert. And I'm gonna save and this is everything. I apologize for the fact that, like, it was a super fell part. Nothing inept, nothing happened. Uh, you know, I wanted to show off a bunch to the point where this would have been a 20 minute long part, but at the same time, uh, yeah, it's like I can't show that off because, you know, I already did everything, a bunch of fell parts. There's a lot of epicness, nothing happened. So, uh, the Phantom Desert was total fell due to technical difficulties, and I apologize. There's nothing I could have done about that. Uh, and it's too late to really go into depth because, you know, saving kind of eliminates everything. And if this was a PlayStation game, I mean, I would have been able to actually, you know, go back to a previous save file, but, 
you know, I can't do that when it comes to World of Final Fantasy. I, I don't know how to fix that, so, uh, otherwise, I apologize, but that's how you get through the fan desert, that's the best I could have done. I managed to try to show off what you can do here, also the cult was talking about that Sphinx battle in the area, and you get the Sphinx memo so you can evolve your Sandicor. but otherwise... Next time, we're going to move on, we're going to get a boss fight, and things are going to happen. So, with all this said, uh, do what you do. Complain about how much of a how much of a little shit I am when it comes to Let's Playing, because I'm terrible, or what have you. We're talking about, hey, cool video, bro, it doesn't matter. It's all good, bro, it's all good, man. Okay, talk to you later, do what you do. I don't know, I'm out. <laughs>